Greetings, everybody. Get your Bible, King James Bible, and turn to Genesis, the book of Genesis, chapter 20. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministry. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is going to be the continuation of the Dreams and Visions series, God willing, of course. I'm going to take this particular study and put one part on my Genesis. I have a Genesis playlist, and then I'm going to put the other, well, the same material on the Dreams and Vision playlist. Uh, YouTube does not like it when I take the same video and put it in two different playlists. It I don't know why or how to fix that, but uh, if somebody knows what's going on with that, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just uh, take the same file, maybe add a few seconds to it, rename it, and then post it to two different playlists. All right, so Genesis chapter 20. Verse 1, And Abraham journeyed from thence toward the south country, and dwelled between Kadesh and Shur, and sojourned in Gerar. And Abraham, Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, She is my sister, and Abimelech, king of Gerah, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man. Oh boy, can you imagine getting a dream from the Lord? And he tells you, uh, you're a dead man. Oh, boy. Behold, thou art a dead man. For the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech had not come near her. And he said, Lord, and he said, Lord, wilt thou slay also a righteous nation? Said he not unto me, she is my sister? And she, even she herself said, He is my brother. In the integrity of my heart and innocency, innocency of my hands have I done this. Now a little background here. Uh, Sarah was, uh, I'm sure she was very beautiful, very desirable for men. Men are very visual. And uh, Abraham and Sarah were not telling a lie. Um, they were half-brothers and half-sister. And, um, you know, the thing is, Abraham was worried that uh, somebody would kill him to take her from him. So he said, he told her, look, just tell everybody you're my sister, which is true, sort of, kind of. And... Uh, you know, so that's the that's the back story. As Paul uh, Harvey used to say, now you know the rest of the story. Good day. Verse 6. So, uh, in the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands have I done this. And God said unto him in a dream, Yea, I know that thou didst this in the integrity of thine heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore suffered I thee not to touch her. Now therefore restore the man his wife, for he is a prophet, and he shall pray for thee, and thou shalt live. And if thou restore her not, know thou that thou shalt surely die, thou and all that are thine. Therefore Abimelech rose 
early in the morning and called all his servants and told all these things in their ears. And the men were sore afraid. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said unto him, What hast thou done unto us? And what have I offended thee, that thou hast brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? Thou hast done deeds unto me that ought not to be done. And Abimelech said unto Abraham, What sawest thou that thou hast done this thing? And Abraham said, Because I thought, surely the fear of God is not in this place, and they will slay me for my wife's sake. And yet indeed she is my sister. She is the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. And it came to pass when God caused me to wander from my father's house that I said unto her, This is thy kindness, which thou shalt show unto me at every place, at every place, whither we shall come, say of me, He is my brother. And Abimelech took sheep and oxen and men servants and women servants and gave them unto Abraham and restored him Sarah, his wife. So Abimelech gave him sheep and oxen and men for servants and women for servants. And, you know, servants, plural. So there was at least two men and at least two women and maybe more. And sheep and oxen. And Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before thee. Dwell where it pleaseth thee. In other words, you know, anywhere you want to go live, hey, no problem. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Wow. I don't know what a piece of silver weighs, but let's just guess an ounce. Do you know in today's money that would be $15,000? I have given a brother a uh, thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other. Thus, she was reproved. Huh. So this guy, you know, he's, he's uh, behaving here. You know, and, you know, when you know this is the Lord's prophet, Give him an offering. You know, maybe God will bless you even more. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech and his wife and his maidservants, and they bare children. For the Lord had fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. So that is the first time in Scripture that I see the word dream. God gives a warning to the king uh, not to mess around with Abraham's wife. And he said, well, if, this is Abra uh, if Abraham's uh, God's prophet, I'm going to bless him. Oh, where have we read that before? Hmm. Now in Genesis 12, verse 1, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Now remember, his name was Abram, and then the Lord changed it to Abraham. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. 
And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. So the king gave Abraham a blessing, so I'm sure the Lord repaid the favor. Now, something to consider. Are the you-know-whos a blessing to the world? Think about that. Uh, I don't think so. You know, the uh, Abrahamic covenant was an exclusive covenant with Abraham. You know, I, I know people say, well, you know, we, all we got to do is believe and uh, we're grafted in. I'm not convinced. I'm really not. But uh, more on that later. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.